Welcome to Building Matiki. My name is Mike and for the last 12 months with some help from a lot of friends I've been trying to get this boat on the water. I'm building the boat according to the plans of James Warm. He is a catamaran designer from England. If you haven't heard about him you should check him out. Quite interesting story. They have plans for this style of boat from 11 foot to 65 foot and I chose the 46 foot version for no particular reason besides that I wanted a reasonable sized boat. The plans are very very detailed because uh, they're made for the amateur boat builder which in my case is perfect because I have never built a boat before and I don't know how to sail. So building something from ground up I figured will give me a good good base to keep this boat going and uh, just I figured I'm learning something new here I might as well start from scratch and uh, here I am 12 months later having a blast. The last couple days I've been working on getting the last side panels up. You can see these right here all the way to the bow. Oh, it's not the bow, it's aft. But ever since I've been done with that, I've been working on these fillets. Good old uneventful fillets. It's epoxy mixed with colloidal silica. I want to. There we go. Pretty uneventful. But. Somebody got to do it. <laughs> Can't even really get in the camera. So what I've been using to make fillets is this little tool right here. You can get that at West Marine. A couple bucks for 10, 15 of them. You can clean them very easily. The epoxy doesn't stick to it. And I'll just take a little bit of this and press it down in that corner. What I like doing is I go the first, the whole row first, and then clean it up afterwards. That's what that way you only clean up one time and don't constantly go between cleaning and forming. All in all this goes really quick. The main thing that takes the long time is mixing this stuff up. This again colloidal silica and epoxy. Yeah, I think this is pretty self-explanatory. Get some. So the fillets dried overnight, they're all hard now. So now it's time to sand them. And then they're gonna get some fiberglass on it. I'm actually quite happy how it turned out looking. Getting better at this. I remember the first time I did this stuff a year ago. Yeah. I looked like a guy <laughs> welding for the first time. Now it looks like, okay. It ain't perfect. I still gotta sand quite a lot. I'm not even gonna try a lot. See, nothing's perfect, but it's getting better. So I'm putting the cloth on now. This stuff right here is a little thicker than the stuff I use for the holes. So what I do with this, I wet it out first. Give it a nice little coating of epoxy on here. Just straight up epoxy and then I stick this to it. And try to get it leveled. Just on this stringer right here. And you can maneuver it around with your hands. If you get some good gloves that are thick enough. And then you just nicely and gently press all this. against epoxy. This is just basically like tacking it. So now I get my little red cup. I got some straight up epoxy mixed on here. And I just cover this cloth until it basically becomes invisible. This white, white stuff right here will disappear. You don't want to put too much on there, but you also don't want to not drench it all the way. Well, it get little bubbles, which is not the biggest problem in the world. You can send them out, fix it later. Shit happens, but uh, you try to avoid it <laughs> as much as possible. get epoxy on this camera I know but well here you see it from close up see how it's white up there and disappeared on top of the stringer yep 
Bottom part is wetted out enough, top needs a little more. And that's how it looks when it's done. And only got, what, 200 feet left to go? No problem. So I wanted to show you all a little bit how the plans are set up. You basically get three books. First one right here is building instructions. Gives you some general tips and then uh, different types of wood you need and different types of sizes and such. And you get this thing right here. This is a hand-drawn building instruction of every last step of the process. Like right here it shows you one of the beginning pages on basically what you're up to. <laughs> and then it goes step by step. Right now I am right here. Put up the side panels. Those are the fillets right here. And the fiberglass tape. That's what I just did earlier. And then you got these big plans right here, which gives you all the dimensions. Like these are the lower bulkheads. And this stuff right here, this is stuff I sit sometimes for hours and wonder like what the heck is going on. It's kind of overwhelming, especially in the beginning, just to find what is what on these things. But over time, it starts to make more and more sense. Very detailed. I think it's like a total of 10 pages. Yep. And with uh, these three things, you can build this thing right here. Also wanted to say thank you for all the comments on the dinghy. I'm still undecided, but I'm either gonna go probably with a fiberglass one or build myself one. I'm not exactly sure, but there is still a little bit of time. Thanks guys for watching. Check us out on Instagram. Just opened that up a couple of weeks ago. I just post a little pictures of the weekly process on there. And uh, yeah, that's it. Have a great week. Do something fun.